Hi everybody! Good to be with you again. And this is the last video in this series. I hope you have fun with me. I hope you found some precious gems. I hope that your life was transformed in some areas that you could grab a hold of some of these precious truths. And today we're looking at the very last verse in Psalms 139. And that is actually verse 24. And here the scripture says, See, or Lord, see if there is any path of pain I'm walking on, and lead me back to your glorious everlasting ways, the path that brings me back to you. There is difference, there are different paths in life. And many people, they walk on a path of pain. But if you look at the scripture right one more time, there is a path of pain. But he's, he prays and he says, lead me back to your glorious everlasting ways. It's not fun to walk on a path of pain. But we all in our lives, we have been walking on different paths of pain. But the Lord says you can actually change, change paths. Like you'd be on a highway, you can switch to another highway. You don't have to be on the highway that you're actually traveling on right now. Especially if it's with a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, a lot of hurt. We actually have the power to get on a different highway. How do you do that? In the natural, when you're traveling somewhere, Maybe you tell your friend in the, who is in the car with you or just to yourself, oh, actually, I'm not going to the city. Let me go to another city. And you just change, get on the next exit and go to the city of your choice or where you actually want to go to. And you do that with words. You even put words into your navigation system. It's words. You change paths. You change roads with your own words. And so uh, we want to actually leave some of the roads that we are traveling on. I'm sure you're tired of some of the roads you're traveling on. And all that God needs from you is not so much. Give him your yes. Say yes, Lord, to your ways. Yes, Lord, to your will. This is actually one prayer that I pray very frequently uh, for myself. It's very simple. I say, Lord, your will, your way, your book, your plan. Amen. Your will, your way, your book, your plan. Amen. And then I added something more. I added other things. And I said, your matchmaking, your dream, your timing, your mission. Amen. Your matchmaking, your dream, your timing, your mission. Amen. You know what? God hears those prayers and he actually answers them. The Bible says that your steps are ordered by the Lord. What you and I need to do, we need to quit arguing with God. So many of us, we argue with God. You say, no, 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 no. I'm not arguing with God. Listen to your self-talk all day long. The way you talk, the way you express yourself, your observations, your comments, your opinions that you utter. You know what most of all those are, if they're not in line with the word of God, they're literally, you're arguing with God. You're arguing with the Father. You're arguing with Jesus. You're arguing with the Holy Spirit. And that is really the reason why we walk on so many roads of pain. When the Lord tells us, when Jesus tells us, you're fully accepted. I love you. You're my beloved. You are my treasure. Then we say, but Lord, I don't feel like this. Things go, don't go right in my life. This is what we literally do. We argue with God. We contest God. But you know what? We want to change. We're ready to go into a new year. Actually, it does not matter when you're listening to this tape or when you're seeing it. You can change road any day, any hour, any minute of any day in any year, wherever you may be in life. So let's quit arguing with God. Let's give him our yes Let's agree with him. I think that's, that's the, the simplest thing we can do. Let's agree with God. Even if we don't feel good, say, Lord, I'm agreeing with you. I say yes to you. I'm following you from now on. 
So let's have a look one more time because, again, we're going into New Year. We want to uh, travel on some better roads than we have in this past year. And we tell the Lord, Lord, see if there is any path of pain I'm walking on. The Lord will highlight it to you. He will highlight your words to you. He will highlight your self-talk to you. And then you can tell the Lord, please lead me back to your glorious, everlasting ways, the path that brings me back to you. And remember, we said in videos past, his greatest desire is to be a friend. Let him in. Don't push him away. Give him your yes. Follow him. You do not have to be perfect. All he wants is your yes. And I wish you God's blessing from the bottom of my heart. I want you to travel on good roads. I want you to be blessed, your families to be blessed, your friends to be blessed, your co-workers to be blessed, so that you are bright and a shining light wherever you show up, wherever you go, and people will see that you're traveling on a different path and people will realize you have different friends than they have. And I'm sure they will come to you and say, tell me, what do you have? I want to know your Lord. I want to know you, God. Show me, show me, help me, show me. And you know what? This is what is the Lord's desire that we stand up for him, that we are on his side, that we agree with him, that we are a bright and the shining light in this last generation. May God bless you and see you another time and feel free to go over these videos again. Grab the scriptures you need, ponder them over and over until they sink deeply into your heart. And I promise you can have a much closer friendship with the Father, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. When you grab a hold of these truths of this psalm, who is really a plea for God to be your personal best friend. God bless you. Bye-bye.